by 3.30, outrage from the family members of the victim after a woman who stabbed a man to death is sentenced to probation. Bryn Spacer was convicted of involuntary manslaughter just last month. She claims to have been under a marijuana-induced psychosis when she killed a man she had been dating. KTLA 5's Lauren Lister live now in the newsroom with reaction from the family of the victim. Lauren. Yeah, Glenn and Lou, we are hearing from the victim's family after that woman found guilty of stabbing their loved one over 100 times in a marijuana-induced psychosis is sentenced. The judge today giving the defendant two years felony probation, not prison time. No cameras in the courtroom, but reaction outside. How I felt was, it's just an unjust determination. Family of slain Thousand Oaks 26 year old accountant Chad Amelia devastated today after his convicted killer, 32 year old Bryn Spacer, who's been out on bail since the 2018 slaying, was sentenced today and given no time behind bars. It's been five and a half years where she has got to live with her family and we get to live with a box of ashes. Last month, the jury found Spacer guilty of involuntary manslaughter, of stabbing Amelia, a man she'd been dating a few weeks, 108 times with three different knives, while in the throes of a marijuana-induced psychosis. These are things everyone agrees on. What we don't agree on is that she should have walked free today after doing what she did. It's a very sad day for victims of crime. It's a very sad day for this family. At the scene of the killing, officers reported finding Amelia dead and Spacer screaming hysterically, still holding the knife, stabbing herself in the neck. Spacer faced up to four years in prison plus sentencing enhancements. The judge saying, given the facts of the case, he didn't think it was warranted. He took into account her lack of criminal record, her professional standing in the community, and that she did, in fact, suffer from severe psychosis at the time of the killing and really did not know what she was doing. The judge citing evidence and expert testimony, also saying it proves Spacer did not know marijuana would have this effect on her when she smoked with Amelia at his apartment that night. The victim's family concerned about a broader impact. I think he set an absolute terrible precedent in the state of California where it, it's it's okay to kill somebody after you smoke marijuana. Does it set a precedent? I don't know if it does, but it's certainly a case that defense counsels will cite when asking for probation in a case like this. If Spacer violates her parole, the judge says she will get four years prison time. She does also have to do 100 hours community service. Bryn Spacer, her family and attorney did not speak after the sentencing, and the attorney has not returned my call either. The defendant did address the judge today, though, very tearful, begging for forgiveness, saying she will spend her life doing good for others. That's the latest in the newsroom, Lou. I'll send it back to you. All right, Lauren, thank you.